this is a flip through of another postal themed um, custom ordered journal I created. Um, the strap is made with craft tech with one of Tim Holtz uh, keyholes over one of Tim Holtz kitchen posts. The spine has um, these decorations, these metal elements. There's red canvas on the spine. Uh, removable um, book jewelry, tassel. In the back, just the, the brads that went in through the craft tech. I've got green tape to mock where my borders are, so I stay in frame. Open it up in the two inside covers. Um, these two pockets, which each contain, they're expandable. They contain a little booklet, notebook. And another notebook, all postal themed. And the other side has a larger pocket that I forgot to put stuff in but I will find something. I still had things left over. So I will put something in there. The first opens up and here is a pocket on a pocket on a like a coin envelope type pocket there goes my ruler and a printed postcard with lined paper that's been stitched around in this one is another printable I used the whale tail tab and I've hung my, one of my um, it's a metal looking charm off of it down here is just a little tiny journaling card I've created in this this tuck and here is a, another pocket with another journaling tag with another whale tail tab on it. This opens up to the back of the, that page in this three pockets here that I put three more little journaling cards in with the whale tail tabs. Over here is a, it's originally a, an envelope that's been cut down to be like a coin pocket, whatever, an envelope. 
but I put a cot on the top and made that a tuck for, and that has a little pocket on it. I just put a little piece of paper in it. That's supposed to be folded up in that little tuck. And the same with this side. And the back also has, so there's two little pockets on these. And that's been stitched around, the pocket's been stitched on. Those open up, and these are flip tabs for these pockets, which I created like, these are Tim Holtz journaling cards. I think they're three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I put them together with a little teeny brad. Makes a nice little accessory for it. Nice decorative element. And life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Some inspiration. She also asked me to put some certain numbers in that, in which I've done on there, the 714. This is just a pocket that I used some gilding polish on the, the edge of the file folder. And then I've also done the slots in between just to give it a nice decorative element. This side has a little, uh, it's like a booklet, but it also has places to store, two places to store little, little items, little mementos. These little file folders I've created with um, Tim Holtz collage paper. And there's writing paper in it some writing paper in a little stickable clear raised thing that says notes on it. <coughs> Excuse me. The second section is the front is two large pockets that have been collaged and stitched up some of that vintage um, train schedule and some printable vintage postcards and the first one is uh, one of those little notebooks and in the top I put another one of those little file folders that have thoughts and some more little writing papers in there. And some altered paper clips that hold them closed. This has a, a tag I've created. And this all is held together with that button. This opens up to another large pocket, which I've used some rickrack through the file folder, the edge where usually it's glued over onto the bar. And I've used some rickrack and some gilding polish and some shoe polish and to give it a decoration. Got a lot of decorative elements I've added. This is a booklet with just writing pages in it. And 
some washi tape on the edge just to secure it. In this side is uh, actually four tucks underneath the vellum here is two of Tim Holtz little journaling cards, the smaller ones. I think they're two by three and a quarter. And there is, oh, this is magnet, magnetic. I forgot what I did there. And then I put these printables on the back to write on. These are writing areas with also a little belly band if you want to tuck a ticket or something in there. There's also a little booklet type thing in there and that tucks in. Underneath those die cuts and that's magnetized. You can see the magnet there and then there's a washer underneath here. On this side of the page is um, two pockets with another pocket on the cover of them, journaling, little journaling cards tucked into these cute pictures, and two more of these little booklets. I love making these, and they've been like a two-hole pamphlet stitch. Some more of that London train schedule paper. I think I'll cry when I run out of that. I love that. Um, another journaling card. And another one of these little booklets. This is using Tim Holtz rub-ons on the tops of these. Over here is an altered envelope, which I put a distressed printed piece of paper, a general ledger piece of paper, and more of that inside the envelope, an altered envelope. It's more of that train schedule paper. Some vintage email stamps there throughout, and these are some printables, or that might be a real one. Um, these two are cards that are in these two pockets. It'll hold a lot, they'll hold a lot more. Um, just like labels that would go on packages that have journaling spots on the back. They've been stitched around. In here I have some, these are like belly bands with a pocket at the bottom, but I had these uh, really nice printable email envelopes that I put into these belly bands. So there is four belly bands and four envelopes in there. Each book I create is um, different. I can't make them the same. Um, so this was interesting enough to keep it different from the last one I made, the postal theme one I made. And this co closes up. I put two of that um, braided hemp cord 
in the center so something could be tied into it. On the third section is um, magnetic straps. These magnets are in through this um, cardboard and the washers, the thin disc are inside the, the fabric. Um, I created like stitch slots and these are altered playing cards that I've put another vintage photo on and put lined paper on the back. This opens up even further <laughs> and there is a large altered envelope with a vintage um, Sears catalog. I think it was in 1892. I'm not certain. Sears catalog. Um, it's It shows like um, envelopes, sets, and that that they had for sale back then. And I've created a, another one of those little booklets. And this one, I put a die cut, a half a die cut. Well, actually, it's cut in half and then glued together as the pull tab. And also adds a decorative element to that. Under that is another large pocket with some of that um, burlap braid trim I have or burlap trim, burlap and twine trim. A picture from Tim Holt's paper. A uh, little raggedy booklet that can be untied and various shapes and sizes of paper. And then in the back I've put a tag a coat check tag, I think it is. Just various papers. In the back I left, these are those brown large expandable file folders. Over here is a, a large pocket with the Tim Holtz um, word token, quote tokens, some embossing powder on these discs, and inside here I put two pieces of paper that have been distressed and folded. <laughs> 